Without replacement, find the probability that with two draws you will get a yellow ball and then a red ball. So what's happening here is that we close our eyes and reach in and grab a ball. We observe what it is. And then we don't put that ball back. We reach in again and pull out another ball and observe what that is. And so we want to know the probability that on the first draw we'll get a yellow ball and on the second ball, draw, uh, draw we'll get a red ball. Well, these events may not be independent uh, because uh, when you pull one ball out, uh, things have changed. That is, the sample space has changed. So it's, drawing out a red ball is no longer three-fifths, it's something else. And so we have to be careful with this. Since they're not independent, we have to use the formula, the full formula with the conditional probability. The probability a yellow ball and a red ball equals the probability a yellow ball times the probability of a red ball, given that we've already drawn a ball out, a yellow ball out here. So let's see what that comes out to be. Well, it's easy. The yellow ball is going to be two-fifths in the first draw. But then we only have four balls left, and three of them are red. So the probability of a red ball is three over four which is 6 over 20, which you could reduce to uh, 3 tenths if you like.